What's up guys, I'm Ari Rochelle and this is Too Deep. The Grim Reaper is a horrifying being that comes to take the souls of those about to die and take them to the underworld. The idea of a Grim Reaper seems to be throughout all the world, from Thanatos in Greece to Santa Muerte in Mexico to hell in Scandinavia. This now begs the question, is the Grim Reaper real? Well, as always, we'll find our evidence solely from the Bible. While the words the Grim Reaper aren't anywhere in scripture, a ominous figure referred to as death is referenced throughout the whole book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 6 verses 7 through 8 says, When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, and I looked. And behold, a pale horse and its rider's name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given authority over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beasts of the earth. I want to point out a few interesting things here. The word for death in this sentence is the Greek word thanatos, which means death. It's also the personification of death in Greek mythology that we just mentioned in the very beginning of this video, just a couple seconds ago. Not only is death one of the four horsemen, but death is also thrown into the lake of fire at the final judgment. Revelation chapter 20 verse 14. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. Death can't just be an event that happens to everyone, but it has to be an actual person, a, an actual spirit, an actual being. Paul even says that death is the last enemy to be destroyed in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 26. You can't destroy an event. You can't fight an event. Therefore, death has to be a person. It has to be a spirit. And if death is a spirit, then could it be the Grim Reaper? So let's take a quick look at the description of the Grim Reaper. According to almost every depiction of the Grim Reaper, he's holding in his hand a Sith. A Sith is an agricultural tool used to harvest crops. What's the importance of this? Well, let's go to another chapter of Revelation. Revelation chapter 14 verses 14 through 16 it says then i looked and behold a white cloud and seated on the cloud one like a son of man with a golden crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand and another angel came out of the temple calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud put in your sickle and reap for the hour to reap has come for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe so he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth, and the earth was reaped. This is a little snippet of the rapture, and according to John, Jesus reaps the souls of the earth with a sickle. Now a sickle is a smaller reaping tool that predated the Sith. The Grim Reaper is depicted as carrying a Sith in his hand because he is the personification of death. He reaps the souls of the earth. He carries them away to Hades, which is why Hades follows him in Revelation chapter 6, verses 7 through 8, which we read earlier. If the Grim Reaper is a worldly depiction of death, the fourth writer of Revelation chapter 6, then it makes sense that he is depicted as being a skeleton wearing a black shroud because both of these things represent death. The skeleton, I believe, is pretty self-explanatory, but if you go to Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 11, you'll see that God compared the people of Israel with dry bones because they were spiritually dead. And the black shroud is actually burial sheets. And everybody who died, including Jesus, according to John chapter 19, verse 40, was buried in burial sheets. So the Grim Reaper is the exact embodiment of death. Now, just in case anyone might think that the Grim Reaper represents Jesus, since Jesus has the keys to death in Hades, according to Revelation chapter 1, verse 18, and just as the verse that we just read, Revelation chapter 14, verses 14 through 16, he carries a sickle in his hand and he reaps the earth. I just want to point out one quick difference that I believe is probably the biggest. 
When Jesus died, they wrapped him in linen clothes and buried him in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, according to Luke chapter 23, verse 50 through 53. But look at look at what Peter saw when he ran to the empty tomb after being told by the women what had happened. Luke chapter 24, verse 12. But Peter rose and ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves and he went home marveling at what had happened. Jesus left behind his burial garments while the grim reaper wears them. This is because the grim reaper is the embodiment of death. That's all he brings is death. Whereas Jesus brings life and life more abundantly according to John chapter 10 verse 10. This is a huge difference between the grim reaper and Jesus. Therefore, Jesus could never be the grim reaper. So let's just sum everything up for you guys real quick. The grim reaper is the personification of death. This is why the grim reaper is depicted as a skeleton wearing a black shroud or burial sheets. He is also depicted as carrying a Sith because he reaps or collects the souls of people and carries them to Hades. The Grim Reaper seems to be the fourth writer of Revelation chapter 6, which is literally death personified. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.